defense. That's what it, that's our key was the defense, and we just, you know, we forced the tempo. Um, we we had them playing our type of our our type of style, and um, uh, converted on those turnovers, and and we just kept hounding them. We 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 applied full court pressure and and just kept going at it with them, and you know, just kept that kept the pedal to the metal, I for say, you know. And not, when not and, and, up. and when you do that. Good things seem to happen, don't they? Yeah, good things seem to happen, and, and the kids enjoy it, and we're having fun, you know, and, and the bench is also enjoying it because they know they'll, they'll get into play a couple minutes, you know, so they're, they're very active on the bench along, along the, with the other five on the court. You haven't played a, a lot of games. After tonight's win, I believe this puts you at 3-0 and yes. overall on the yes. season and, and your first region game here now tonight, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, so you've got that. And, and uh, does the the lack of the game experience yet is 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 that showing its way? Because you look good to me, you looked good in the win over Page. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. A lot of other teams are still trying to figure themselves out, but you guys with limited action seem like you're almost you know, mid-season form right now. Well, you know, we've been practicing for what two months. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You know, so, so you've had a lot so of time. We, we had court. a lot of time to 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 bond, especially with the the two transfers that came from uh, Tuba City and Winter Rock. Uh, and um, you know these boys are anxious, and and our three, our three returning starters, uh, Roy Billups, uh, Dustin Richard, and um, uh, Tyrell Young. You know they've been they've been in this program for for three two years, and they know how to set the tone. And um, with with Tyrell's leadership in practice every single day, you know getting these boys um, to listen, to work hard, and everything else like that. It's been a smooth transition. I'm, uh, I'm I'm fortunate and blessed Got to it. have these kids in my in, on my team. Ma makes your job a little bit easier, doesn't it? A little it? easier. All right, yes. Coach. I know there's a lot of snow on the ground outside. I know you need to get going and get the get the guys home safe. So we'll uh, wish you uh, wish you uh, Godspeed in your travel home. Congratulations on a, on a great victory tonight. All right. Thank you, Floyd. You got Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Coach Nelson, there, Benton Nelson of the Winslow Bulldogs, and a 73 to 57 victory for the Bulldogs at Blue Ridge tonight. Congratulations to them and to the Sports on Radio player of the game. That was uh, Roy Billups tonight. He led the team in scoring with 20 points. He was terrific in transition with the team. Uh, other guys in that scoring column, how about a 13-point night tonight for Dustin Richard? Tyrell Young chipped in nine points, as did Jeremiah Bijo. Nine points for him tonight. Coy Silversmith had eight points in the contest. Uh, a couple other guys to mention here. Ashki Yazi had a two-point night tonight. Uh, as we, Chris Ariano, Ariano had uh, two points. Zane Corum with two points on this one uh, this evening as well for the Winslow Bulldogs. On the other side, you know the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets are going to be fine. They've got a lot of uh, they got a lot of length. They're very tall. They're athletic. They can run. They haven't had a chance to play a lot, but uh, you can bet that they're going to be just fine as this season moves along and, and gets going into gear. The Yellow Jackets, with this one, will mention that with the loss, they moved to 0-2. They've only played two games so far this season. They need a little more action and a little more time. And, again, they're going to be fine. Uh, they were led tonight in the scoring column by, by Zane Rex. Zane had a great night on this one, 16 points to pace the scoring for his team tonight. Logan Joe with a big second half, including a couple of fourth-quarter three-point baskets. Logan ends the night with 10 points, got into double figures. P.J. London with seven points, got off to a slow start, but he got going late. Also seven points in the game for Jake Esparza. Uh, Jason Bonita with a three-point night tonight as well. And I will also mention the youngster, uh, Reed Granillo. He finished the game with eight points, including a couple of second-quarter three-point buckets. For the Yellow Jackets, a bright young star to be for Blue Ridge out there, uh, Reed Granillo, having that big first half. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up from here. I want to thank Derek Simmons, all his contributions here at Sports Zone Radio, the guy behind the camera, the guy that puts all these great highlight packages together for us. I want to thank my broadcast partner on the night as well. That was B-squared Byron Brown. And my name is Floyd Simmons. This is Northland Basketball. It's presented by Choice Wireless. <laughs>